In this video, we're going to take this image and we're going to take this music and create a music audio lip sync video. It's much easier than you expected and you'll have a lot of fun. So let me take step by step. First, what we need to do is have our image. Let me point a couple interesting aspects that will help you make it even better. Number one, you see it right here? Where's my finger? Kind of going on the guitar try to create all fingers open it will make much better because ai won't expand it and it will look like you have it only half of the finger there okay next the hand you can position how you want it we can specify to move this hand as well adjust head there also i notice with time your background if it's blur get less blurry which is okay we can still work with this but i do like isolate subject from the background it's why i like to create like blur background so ai can easy look through the depth map and use this so this is general it's our image clean image of you in this case me holding guitar ready to play our music now where we get get music if you can play on guitar excellent record yourself and put it there in my case people usually pay me money not to play music or singing so i will save you from this insanity and going to use it music that recorded on uh suno the lyrics i have some funny joke so i put a joke inside and i says hey ChatGPT create for me a lyrics very short for the music it does create it so I put it there and says specify and Suno just a guitar only playing with a specific like 1930s old style music so after create this right here the pigeon this music we ready to go you know instead going and install all these crazy libraries for the lip sync and everything which we'll cover in another video if you're interested here we're going much easier and more fun way we're going to use it comfy ui and we're going to use it the workflow that is come with comfy ui i will explain you how you can extend and make even better for longer videos and this will do in a second first if you don't have it comfy you are installed or you don't know what it is or how to work check my video where I'm going from a to z all about comfy ui and how to install to save our time for this specific video i'm skipping this step well now let's go to our workflow right here this is workflow we're going to use it don't worry about these spaghettis because well, we'll have it even more of them here, but it's okay. I will explain how everything works. So you'll have a clear understanding of this workflow. First, that workflow, it's coming pre-installed with the latest Comfy UI. And if we look right here, I'm using Comfy UI 3.57. This is uh, the latest at the time of recording that I can download it. Next, we're going to use it actual workflow. For this, go to browse template and then go inside the video and we're going to use the van 2.2 s2v so it's single to video and it's audio dreaming generation so we're going to use that workflow when you open you should have it like this on your screen one workflow all enabled on top and one at the bottom you will also most likely will prompt to download models if you don't have them just go ahead, download it in a place where you want it. And if you want to download manually, you can always go into these model links that displayed and it's tell you what you need to download and where to place them. We are kind of want to use this van 2.2 latest. Those models is very useful and you can use them in many other projects. We also want to have a definitely audio encoder that work with our audio via and text encoder. So this is simple as well they all put it in the right place right here you can see well after this let's see what's happening here the first loaded model and we have it load our diffusion model clip text encoder via an audio encoder so this is very simple if for some reason you don't have this just verify you save them in the right path down below we have where we downloaded our audio and we downloaded our initial image so audio, it's unloaded MP3, WAV file. You can create them or record. So after this, the link, it will be about 10, 19 seconds. I will show you how to, we can expand this a little bit more, but just keep in mind that if you 
trim some music you want to start towards like closer to the beginning and less music so if you want to lip sync in this case and next same way i like we look before you can go ahead and download your image this is all preparation next we need to go put it our prompts and you can see right here they have a very nice man playing guitar he looked down on his hands playing the guitar sting efficiently and gently you can change this is what i did with my prompt i'll show you in a second and right here we have an additional negative prompt in uh, chinese if you're interested i have right there just in english all what it does it just says no fuzzy image details it's just normal negative prompt to reduce some of those artifacts as well as if we look on a positive prompt i have right here my singing playing guitar moving this one actually i found quite a bit important if you have a just hand it's a moving finger so then your fingers on the video start moving around and perform like it's playing guitar also i mentioned on both hands and moving head slightly to the music so it's not just study if you don't put it this in a prompt most time you end up with head just going straight to the camera and does not have it additional movements you can specify here as well like moving shoulders adjust guitar and everything so all the prompt for the video it's a work very well in this case okay let's go jump back to our original and uh, down below we have our batch settings this will come back in a second to this one because some of the settings kind of important to pay attention to this but right here we have it our basic simple just leave it as default for now you could change if you want the width and height uh, for the image just play around with those settings if you need it next we have it our seed 20 keep it it is a uh, fixed seed for the consistency of your image leave it all the simpler and schedule similar you can play around again with all the settings but this is for now i'll recommend you to leave it as less changeable as possible when you run your first test and change after right here we have it to look on this we have it three blocks and this is interesting things because each block will generate by 77 frames when it's meaning it generates 77 after jump to this another 77 so we have a total is 154 frames generating if you need it you can add additional one and this is where i say we're going back you see right now it's a disable if you're going to enable and add additional 77 frames you actually need to go down below in batch size right here and change value from three to four so you actually need to have a batch value four if you want to create those three steps well you know what you're not just a stack with this you can actually add your own an example right here and i will show you a video when i create with this you'll notice i actually add more i have it four of them here like this we can enable all four of them yeah and you can do same you just copy another ones and connect one just warning tell you you will see some little bit image degradations as we going so it doesn't mean you can put infinity of those styles because that is what happened i would recommend for you if you want to go to uh very long then you can take a first last frame kind of split between and masking transitions well maybe we'll have a special video for this how to create extremely long video without degradation but for now we'll just focus on this so right here you can see we have it i enable four just add one right there and connect it to all the other ones so just duplicate it and connect it back to our latent card spaces well in here you'll notice i have a size of five because we needed how many we have it four plus one five so we have five batch styles in this case it's creates 77 for each and the reason why i done because my music was a little bit longer 24 seconds it did not fit properly and i want all song here so i put it right there and you can see 24 seconds so for me it's why i did this but it did have a little bit degradations we'll see in a second well let's see what's going on here this is my image this is my song and by the way i won't play all the way here you can watch to the end and trust me some lyrics it's worth it to listen for this song i'm sure you will enjoy this okay let's jump back to our video and preview what's going on here this is after render i'm running on rtx 3090 with 24 d ram and this is used almost up to it's nicely it does not swap over 
And if you want to experiment, you can reduce amount of the frames, how many it's using. Just make it shorter and a little bit faster to produce. Okay, there is our image. So I will just play for a little bit, not all the way. Remember, we'll go back to our video to watch all video. And I recommend, seriously, just watch that video. It's funny. Okay, so right here, let's start from the beginning. What I want to show, see the background? Okay, let's go come closer right here. You see our background right there? how it's blur and if i'm going jump to the end watch you see how background change per each batch file get a little bit more like hdr sharper and sharper so keep this in mind it does happen degradation after some time get kind of lock it so if you make very long but it is affecting this so it is a little bit sad if you have it like all blur background on beginning and end. It's more HDR kind of put it out. So this is only artifacts I found currently happen. And I'm sure we can work around this by comparing more with consistency. But for now, it's kind of fun. And let's analyze on my fingers. You remember I told you this finger right here? Well, it's kind of nice because you hold a peak maybe or some other things kind of hold it okay. But it does not go straight. You remember I told you it's look like cut fingers. And these fingers on my um, left hand, I need to remember which hand, they do not really move, so I need to play a little bit more, but head did move around. I'll mute for a second the song so you can preview this. And if you look right here, see, the head is moving left and right, so as I say, this hand moving, guitar moving, so it's actually look like I'm playing and my lips actually going with a sound, which is kind of very nice. If you have it, very busy sound with a lot of sound with a lot of voices it's not necessarily will work in this case it's the reason why i try to isolate just the one guitar one instrument one voice in this case it's work real real good okay well thank you for watching be sure to stick around to watch this music video trust me it's worth it okay and we'll see you next time bye <music>